Okay, this is a different angle from another security camera. Here, there is me walking out with 911 on the phone when all this first started. Because there's 10 of them guys up in our yard right now as we speak. Them are, this goes along with them clips that you have already seen, hopefully. And I'm already out there with a bat trying to get them off my property and they got me surrounded. There I go putting a lantern up there so I can see them. I really wish we had sound on the camera so you could hear everything that they're saying. But we do have the 911 call coming. So as soon as we get that, we will post that and you can hear everything they're saying. How they want to murder me and my family, bulldogs, bulldogs, my house, all kinds of crazy crap. And I don't take any of that lightly. I don't, I don't do threats. I made 911 stay on the phone with me until the police arrived. Here in a minute you'll see me come up on my deck with a baseball bat in my hand from running them off because they they knew 911 was on their way the cops. <laughs> St. Helens finest and Ross Commons finest. There you go, now you know where I'm at. You don't want to do nothing about it? Front me off? Agitate me every weekend? Mm -mm. It ain't flying with me. I'll put everybody's face out here, including mine. Everything that they are saying, I am repeating, telling dispatch on the phone. She informed me how she could hear them. So if dispatch can hear what's going on in the background, why did police not do nothing and why did they threaten to take my old man to jail instead of doing their job and going after those who are criminally trespassing? Because they're Keystone cops, because they're affiliated with the cops. I told you that. And because we have all these people up in our yard, like I said, I made 911 stay on the phone. And because we have to wait for the sheriff's department come from another count, uh, another town, because our police department, Richville Township Public Safety, refuses to answer any of our 911 calls, it takes about 20 minutes for them to get out here. So we have to defend our property, the two of us, against all 10 of them with no help from local authorities. And this is late at night, and this time is actually an hour behind. So it's actually 3.26. Had to do this until almost 6 o'clock in the morning. And this is pathetic. Pathetic, disgusting. Okay, let me speed it up a little bit so you can see how long it actually does take our police department to finally get there. Keep watching the time. We have to speed it up because there's so much of it. Yeah, put in fast mode a little bit better. So hurry up. So we gotta go to so it's such a long video. The time is at 2.28, and it's two, the police finally show up at 2.47. Wow, could have been murdered by then. They'd have been, they'd been, hooray, another sex offender's dead. You guys are stupid. Pay me for a job that I don't do. That's all the cops think up here. only doing that because it's that's me that's me with the bat see I'm standing there holding the bat come on that's what I'm telling them I have look at this this is horrible 
I'm telling them thank you for the compliments with all the stuff that you're saying. Like I said, you'll hear the 911 call. We will post it. See, now we're at 240. Police still have not showed up. That's me on the phone with 911. Now you know what I look like. Now you know who I am. One way or the other, either this, either I'm going to get justification or I'm going to have to die. You know what? Those I think that I should have to die, and I'm not a human being, and don't need any, need don't need any chances. Well, you can kiss my white ass. I hope God has the same motherfucking mercy on you. This is him talking to the police now. Yep. Because they just got they, there. Yeah. He started threatening to put me in jail. That's when I went in. So many didn't want to talk to him. You'll see. I go in with my lantern. We go in. I go in. I slam the door in his face. 